Tomorrow, Congress votes for new economic penalties against Iran. As President Trump warns of serious consequences unless all U.S. citizens in prison there are freed. <clears throat> this includes Robert Levinson, a former CIA contractor now missing for more than a decade as his family joins those testifying on Capitol Hill. Joining us now, his son, Dan. Dan, it's good to see you again. We've spoken before here uh, on Fox News uh, on the 10th anniversary, I believe, we spoke mm -hmm. of your father uh, missing. Uh, gone missing. Uh, where is the family right now? What do you expect your brother when he testifies on Capitol Hill? What is new that he can report to the American people? Well, uh, my brother's going to be testifying. He's, um, uh, he was 13 years old when my dad uh, was taken in mm -hmm. Iran. He, he was arrested, and everybody knows that at this point. Um, and he's grown over a foot. He's taller than my dad now. He's now working mm -hmm. on Capitol Hill. And we want to show how much my dad's missed. He's missed uh, many weddings. He's, his uh, newest grandson was just born uh, three weeks ago, and mm -hmm. he just misses these things. And I think my brother being on there and talking about our story and keeping the pressure um, to, on Iran and keeping, keep pushing our government to keep the pressure on important them. Important to keep that pressure on Iran and also to keep um, the hope out there that, that he is still alive because there was an AP article, as you know, mm -hmm. uh, just this past week citing an anonymous U.S. official saying, quote, many U.S. government officials believe Robert Levinson is no longer alive, but the FBI importantly put out a statement mm -hmm. two days later that said something much different, quote, this characterization is not accurate and diminishes the U.S. government's resolve to safely return Robert Levinson home to his family. Does that give you some hope that the FBI stepped up and said that? Yes, uh, we met with FBI officials, White House officials, and State Department officials all last week. Uh, a number of our, my family uh, went, up the, went over there, and uh, they were re very uh, adamant about saying they're, they're going to do everything they can to get him home, that they, they have no reason to believe that he's not alive, and uh, that they're going to keep pressing his case. So, um, and then they came out with a White House statement mm -hmm. on Friday, which was very strong. It's the strongest uh, language our government has ever used in the 10 years, and we're very encouraged to see that. So, um, but yeah, we're, I think it, it was encouraging to see the FBI to, to come back and, and make sure that they'll So last it. question, you've been critical before when we've spoken a little bit about the Obama administration, feeling that they had not pressed hard enough and you were hopeful at the beginning of the Trump administration that it was going to be much different. With that statement from a few days ago, do you think President Trump is following through? It's a great first step. Uh, we want to see him follow through on this and uh, make sure that the Iranians know that there's going to be consequences. That's, that's really important. There's going to have to be some sort of a deal, but they have to know that there's going to be that pressure and that we're not going to go away. The U.S. government's not going to go away and, and drop this. And we're not going to let this story go away. Dan Levinson, we appreciate you coming in, and we are all thinking about your dad and praying for his safe return. I appreciate it. Thank Good you. Good to see you.